Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm back with a brand new video and it's actually a collaboration. So this collab is with Jamie Leah and she is a cruelty-free esthetician. She actually lives about an hour from me. We haven't met yet, but hopefully, you know, when things actually get normal, we'll get to meet in person. So I'm really excited to collab with her and definitely check out her channel because like I said, she has lots of great cruelty-free suggestions and also the lens of an esthetician. So I really enjoy watching her videos and I think you will too. So the video that we're going to be doing is the alphabet tag and that was created by Jessica Braun. So it's basically just talking about um, your favorite beauty brands from A to Z and a product. So I'm just going to jump right in. So the first product I want to talk about is from AOA Studio, so Shop Miss A. That's their in-house brand and it is these cream sheer blushes. Absolutely obsessed. I'm actually wearing the one this kind of darker one today. So this is in Demure and it's like, I'm obsessed with it and I actually didn't think I'd like this color. Um, and I just painted my nails and I don't know if they're dry. Um, so it's this color and I'm wearing it on my cheeks today. So it's kind of like a really nice, um, corally kind of brownie blushy color. And I'm obsessed with these blushes. They're only a dollar. They blend so nice. The pigment pigmentation is amazing and they're very long lasting. Um, I also have this one in Cupid, and if they do have cheap shipping, you know your girl's going to buy more because I absolutely love these. Um, I've heard they're also a, a dupe for, like, the Fenty ones. I haven't tried the Fenty ones, so I can't say for sure, but I highly recommend these. So now we're going to move to B. So the product that I have for B is from Benefit, and it is the Precisely My Brow Pencil. I'm obsessed with this. Like, when it is a night out, this is the product I'm going to use. Um... You know, it has the spoolie on one side and then it has, of course, the product here. And I like this product because I find it's very easy to draw on or fill in your brows. I have kind of larger brows, as you know, um, but I really like that for doing this. It's definitely one of my favorite brow products. It is a little bit pricier, but I don't mind. And it's one of the only products now I feel like I actually like from Benefit throwing a little bit of shade there but that was my B selection. So for C we're going all out and it is from Charlotte Tilbury and it is the all airbrush flawless foundation. So I really like this. It did take some time for me to grow on me. I got this from Influencer like a long time ago. Um, I have the shade 9 warm and I do like this. I find it does give that flawless airbrush look. Um, yeah, and I just feel so glam and pretty when I wear it. I'm actually not wearing it today, um, but I really like this. I find like the shade I have is like maybe a little bit too golden for my skin tone, but I make it work. And what I like is that you really only need like one pump and then it gives your face full coverage. So if you're looking for a really good full coverage foundation, I recommend this. Of course, it does have a higher price tag, but you know, sometimes when we want to look good, we don't really care about a price. I know I don't. So now we're moving on to D and this is no stranger to my channel. So this is from Dominique Cosmetics and it is their Latte palette. So this is a palette I absolutely love. You've heard me talk about it before. It's just like a perfect neutral palette. It's definitely well loved. Um, these brown colors are really nice. I, I love wearing them. Um, and they're very pigmented, creamy to blend. I really do enjoy that palette and I'd like to try more from Dominique Cosmetics, but yeah, I really like that. So now we're moving on to E. So the product I chose for E is the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. I absolutely love this primer. I just have the regular one. Um, it took a while to come to Canada and I got it like when I was in the States. Um, so I've used a fair amount and I use the Universal Sheer and I actually find this does a really good job of covering redness even though it doesn't really mention that. I do find my nose is naturally like a little bit red and I find it does a really good job of covering any redness on my nose. Um, it leaves, you know, I'm wearing it. No, I'm not wearing it today actually, but um, yeah, I'm a huge fan of this and I just find it really increases the longevity longevity of my makeup and also just creates a nice canvas so I really like this. Um, the next product I'm going to talk about for F is from Fenty Beauty and it is their Gloss Balm in Hot Chocolate. I just have the mini. I know there's a full size of this. I'm actually wearing it right now. I'm going to apply a little bit more. 
I love this shade. I feel like nobody talks about this one. Like everybody always talks about like Fussy um, or the original one, but this is like the perfect nudie, like nudie brown. It just makes my lips look so good and really big. Um, so I'm a huge fan of this color from Fenty. I like all of them, but this is the one that like I'm always reaching for. So the next product, I found G wasn't the easiest um, letter to find a product, but it's actually um, from Girlactic. So this was a brand that was pretty popular a few years back, but I'm going to have to creep their Instagram after this because I'm interested to see, you know, if they had any products. Um, but the product that I chose was the matte lip paint. And I really like this color because I thought it was like a really nice kind of vampy color. I haven't worn it in a while, but I definitely should. It's like that really nice kind of berry color. Um, this is in the color Demure, which is kind of funny because that blush was called this too. Um, but I really liked this color. The next product for H, and I'm currently wearing it on my face. It is from Huda Beauty, and it is their um, Faux Filter Foundation. I love this foundation. I'm wearing it today, and... I actually was out for like an hour and a half wearing a mask and I didn't even retouch my makeup. Like this gives a beautiful flawless look. Um, the color I wear is Trey's Lychee's, but I love this one. Like I got a sample and was just like, okay, I need this foundation. And then I did a Sephora haul, if you might remember, and bought this. But I absolutely love this foundation because if you're into like a really nice, like a really full coverage, flawless look, then this is the foundation for you. So now we're moving, we're moving along quite nicely. So the product that I chose for eye was from It Cosmetics, and I don't have a whole lot by It Cosmetics, but it is the Je Ne Sais Quoi palette. I don't even know if they still sell this, um, but I won this a long time ago, and I did a review. I'll post in the cards. It's like ancient, um, but I really liked this palette for traveling because, of course, it has a mirror. Um, it has a very hard shell too, so it wouldn't get damaged. And there is a bronzer, there's a highlighter, which is a little bit too pink for me. Um, there's a nice blush, and then I love their setting powder. I used to use it under my eyes all the time because it just looked so nice. Um, but this was my eye pick. So now we're going to talk about Jay. So the product I chose for Jay is from Juvia's Place, and it is the Nubian, Mini Nubian Palette. Um, so I actually haven't used this a whole lot, but I've enjoyed it. This is the only Juvia's Place product too that I have, which is kind of weird. Um, but I really like this because I actually, it would have looked nice with my color scheme today. Um, but it's these kinds of colors. So like some browns and oranges. Um, they're really nice. I do like the mattes. I find some of the shimmers are kind of like hard to blend a little bit, but this was my J pick. So now we're moving right along to K. So the product I chose for K is from Kiko Milano. And this brand, I don't even think you can buy it in Canada. Um, I know when I was in New York, they had stores, but I feel like stores have closed. And I know they're at Ulta, but um, when my friend was in Rome, she was like, do you want anything? And I told her this shadow. Um, so, oh no, I just smeared my nails and I just did them, but that's okay. Um, so this is actually all the way from Rome and it is their long lasting wet and dry use eyeshadow in 208. This used to be like the hottest highlighter. Everyone was talking about this. I actually don't use it that much, but I need to use it a little bit more. Um, it's just like a really pretty kind of shimmery gold and maybe now I'll use it on my eyes as opposed to just a highlighter, but I've never used it wet either, so maybe I'll use like a little bit of Fix Plus, but yeah, this was definitely like a hot commodity a few years back. And it's the only thing I do have from Kiko Milano, yes. Oh no, I lie, I actually bought some nail polishes when I was in New York at the Kiko Milano store. Um, now, oh my goodness, it's like I can't even remember the alphabet. So the next thing is L, so... This is the palette I'm wearing on my eyes today, and I'm obsessed. I mentioned this in a haul. It's the Lorac Pro Palette Artist Edition Marquee, so I had waited forever to get my hands on this. And lately, like during the holidays, um, I was using this color all the time. So lots of like browns. I haven't actually touched any of the kind of like movie colors, but I've been really digging into the browns, and I really like a natural kind of makeup look, so... 
that's why this palette and I are besties because I find that I can really execute on a natural look by using this palette. I will admit though this palette looks absolutely disgusting. Like this is like the dirtiest palette I own I feel like because it already came a little bit questionably beat up. Um, but like it really just everything sticks to it and then I saw the back of it today and I was like ugh. But and I promise like I my vanity is like very clean so I heard reviews too that like everything gets stuck to it but they could have did a better job I think with the packaging but I love the colors inside. So for my M pick it is from Milani and this is not new to my channel either and it is the fruit fetish lip balm in strawberry lemonade. I wear this on the daily especially on work days because it's just like a clear balm but it does have a little bit of a hint of pink. Um, it doesn't like flake my lips it keeps them really hydrated really moisturized and it just smells so good too it actually smells like strawberry lemonade so it keeps true to its name um, but I really like this and I kind of want to get the pumpkin spice one but I really like this one um, for N I got a product from NYX surprisingly because as you know like NYX has kind of been on my like no list um but this is the on the rise mascara and this is a daily mascara that i do use i find it's a really good even though it says it's a volumizing lift mascara i find it actually lengthens my lashes as opposed to volumizing so if i want like my lashes to look really long i use this mascara um it's e easy to remove which is really good i do find it does transfer on the lower lash which kind of drives me a little bit crazy i'm not going to lie um but i really liked this so now we're going to talk about oh so of course i had to get something from from ofra and it is from the samantha march collection and as you know I, as you may or may not know i actually want to won one of her giveaways so she sent me her whole collection and i'm obsessed with this blush it is the chick lit blush from her collection um and it's just gorgeous because you have this like matte pink but then you have this shimmer and when you put it together it just gives you like the most beautiful blush color like I've just become so obsessed with blush and you'll notice that I picked quite a few um blushes in this video which is kind of different for me because blush used to just be like eh, I don't really care um but I really like this one and I think it's really pretty and it's very universal too because it looks great on her skin tone and it looks good on mine too so I really like this blush. So for P, I'm not gonna like branch out too crazy, but what I really wanted to talk about is the Pixie by Petra Endless Shade Stick. I really like this one. It's like a really nice copper. It would look nice with my eye look today. And basically you just put it on your eyes and it gives a really nice shimmer. I mentioned in my top five Pixie video, but I really like this. Um, it's, yeah, it gives like that kind of like very easy makeup look. Um, but it looks better and more like intricate than what it really was. So I, th this is my P look. So for Q, I'm really lucky that last week I actually just bought my first Quo product from Shoppers. Um, so this is a Canadian beauty brand for those that don't know. And um, it's kind of like Shoppers in-house brand and it it's kind of more expensive. Um, but I did get their Feather Light Cream Blush. I've been loving cream blushes, like I said. And this is in Halo 35. I love this color. Um, I was really surprised. It's a liquidy cream bl um, blush. And let me just take it. It's kind of like more of like, it's quite bright. Um, but it's very easy to blend. Um, and it just has really nice pigmentation too. So I really like this. I actually got it for $6. It was part of their holiday collection. But... It is also part of their permanent collection, so I did score quite a deal on this. Um, but I'm really happy so far trying it. For R, of course I had to get another foundation, and it's from Revlon, and it's their Color Stay. And this, I use the Normal to Dry. Um, this is like an OG. The shade that I use is... Uh, I don't even know. Oh, 370 Toast. I love this. I find it gives like a very high-end kind of finish. It is a full coverage foundation, um, does have your SPF 20 in it. I absolutely love this foundation. So for S, I had to pick from the Sephora collection. So this was in a kit that I got, um, the, I think the hydrating one, and it is their Dragon Fruit Lip Scrub. This is really pretty. I find that it does do a really good job of um, getting rid of the dead skin off your lips, but it's also a little bit tinted as well. 
and it does smell like yummy dragon fruit so I really liked this product um, for tea I have from Tower Beauty or Tower 28 the shine on lip jelly in magic I'm obsessed with this lip gloss you can see that I've already used a fair amount um, I find I didn't know if I'd like this because it's kind of like that white it looks kind of like that white really sparkly but this just gives a really nice natural kind of um, gleam to your lips so I'm a huge fan of that for you I have from Uoma Beauty the blowout um, brow so I actually am wearing it today on my brows and I love this because it gives like a full kind of coverage on my brows but it's literally like this is way better than give me brow and I just kind of drag it on here it's very low maintenance but I find like my brows always look very good when I use this um I don't know what shade I'm actually in I'll link it down below um, but this was a find from Marshalls so I think I only paid like five dollars for it so I absolutely love this for V V was kind of hard um, but I did get this when I was on first class. So when you fly, fly first class or business, I should say with Air Canada, um, they give you like a little gift bag. Um, this is when you're in the pods and they gave me this Vitru, um, Vitruvi Voyage lip balm. And it's like this really nice minty lip balm. I'm obsessed with it. I don't think you can buy it though. I know they do have like oils and things like that, but I find this keeps my lips really hydrated. And it has like that that mint cooling feeling so I'm a huge fan of this I really wish I could buy it like Air Canada if you can't really have flights right now like please come out with this because it is great the next product is from wet n wild I'm wearing it today and it is from their holiday collection and it is the star Lux star Lux glitter highlighter duo I actually don't use this part but I'm a huge fan of this yellow gold highlighter i think it's really pretty i'm wearing it today and i really like how it looks so that is my w pick and i have to admit i could not find anything for x i don't have anything from um xx beauty which is part of like makeup revolution but that was like the only makeup brand i could see that started with an x if you know a makeup brand with x um link it down below because i'd be really interested to see what that is now for y i did have one product and it is in my um my like uh magnetic ones so this is it's this color from yabby beauty i haven't really used it but i got it in a beauty box but that was the only thing i could think of for y and for zed this is new to my collection i finally tried zoeva so this is their melody lip gloss in become a butterfly so it's just a really nice kind of peachy kind of lip gloss i really like it it's really long lasting too like i Put it on yesterday and you know drank and had a tea and it was still on so i was really impressed by that so we made it we got through the alphabet i got pretty good like i i only missed one letter so i'm pretty proud of myself so let me know if you've tried any of those products and also too don't forget to check out jamie's video and her channel i know you are going to love her so i just wanted to thank all of you for your support don't forget to like comment, subscribe, and I hope you have the best day ever. Thank you.